Tarot Heifer 11 here. Welcome. If you are a Taurus or have significant Taurus placement in your birth chart, remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to take a look at the yin yang as well. You are the negative, so you should have very positive energy coming in as I'm doing this reading in November, you know, 2022. Uh, the on the yin yang, so but I'm going to take a look at the energy forces coming in as well, how they might complement or for sure how they're interconnected in your natural world. Calling on spirit, or Taurus, anybody with significant Taurus placements. Bad apples. Did you ever gotten a bag of apples from the grocery store, took them home, opened it up, and one of them, he opened up, up and it was rotten and on the inside. And But see, not only that, but the juice from the rotten apple had leaked all over the other apples. That's really gross, right? It's a vibe I'm getting about... Uh, the wicked versus the righteousness. So it's like there's bad apples and somebody might be even praying for God to spare. But it's, I, I kind of get the energy. I'm not kind of, I mean, this, I'm just trying to explain this and get this out that it's about there's good people around you, right? And so we're more concerned with that and not the wicked people that are around us in November. Someone is longing to accomplish something in this arena, and I'm going to find out what it is. Spirit says that getting in a hurry to offer something to the world, someone may push yourself too hard and overlook the little details that make a huge difference. And that using that urgency to push your motive, you know, it's, it's work in that process. And then this is for many of you, it's at work. For many of you, it's someone who is at a new place at the beginning, kind of at the bottom of the totem pole. Yeah, there's for sure a very faithful Taurus, somebody with significant Taurus placement in their birth chart, and very faithful to this. And I think there is even someone who isn't making as much money per hour as the other people. There's something about that. Um, again, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, what, not getting thrown out with the bad apples, you know. Uh, some of you are watching them come and go left and right. Being a part of the good crew there and very similar situation was happening in Jerusalem a long time ago. I remember in the Bible something about it wasn't about bad apples. It was happening with people's hearts, you know, kind hearted, genuine hearted people versus people that don't have a fucking heart. Somebody's dealing with that. So in that environment, we've had we've had people that were were disappointed in. Okay, you have people around you that you're disappointed in. This card speaks of chaos. Spirit says chaos, and there's just no real easy way to say it. As a matter of fact. But I'm going to give it a try because it can be extremely difficult to accept some things in these moments. There's these moments coming in this energy in November. All emotions are a gift, though. Spirit wants somebody to know that uh, telling us things about Somebody be telling about our experiences we would otherwise never know and offer us invaluable insight into our relationships. Okay. Wow, that's deep. This is making me have to take a... I have to pee. What? Somebody is going to tell us, Taurus, 
or somebody here, something about what they did or what they do, just talking about their experiences here. Well, otherwise we wouldn't even, we wouldn't even know. But it's invaluable. It don't mean shit. This bad apple shit. Wow, they're just rotten, you guys. And integrating in those, you know, relationships and whatnot on the job. That negative person, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Uh, not necessarily, that's just that energy. In fact, the only person I see in this reading is Earth Energy, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, or Taurus. <laughs> oh my gosh, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, which is probably just you. And Spirit wanting us to pray for the people in our city. Pray for our people at work. Pray, pray for our people in the country who do follow God. Which I think we should pray for everybody. But this is what the energy is coming through and giving a message. For some reason, Spirit, I gotta pee. Okay, I'm gonna... Mm, 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 mm. Well, I guess I gotta hold it since Temperance just showed up, guys. All right. Um, slowing it down for a moment. Spirit says this is a subtle but powerful vibration that you can give off. Being very subtle and chill. Being very, very chill. That's going to be our vibe, right? It's, it's hard to be chill around these bad apples, Spirit says. So... Because it's a very magnetic energy flow in the dynamics of that. And it's a, it's a skill that's largely forgotten. You know, I forgot how chill you got to be around this stupid shit. But Spirit wants us to remember to be so chill. Because getting tuned in can take some practice in November. Practicing on just tuning in and yeah... Not wanting to get thrown out with those bad apples either is a big deal in the pleading to be spared. You know, uh, somebody might have to plead for their boss to spare somebody who didn't do anything wrong. I see that on the table as well, but, um. Everything in moderation, guys. Spirit says this is not about abstinence. It's not about leaving. Okay, so it's not about somebody leaving or getting fired or quitting. It's about cultivating your awareness of where you spend your energy. And how that energy is returned to you. Okay. So Spirit says making adjustments to keep your spiritual ecosystem healthy. Is what we got to do in that environment. Okay. <laughs> Find your little hole. Find your little spot. You know, your little sacred place. Um going to have to do that. You might even need to go take a pee more often and just chill out if it's getting that crazy. But somebody is. I see that because it made me have to. I know I have co-workers that have to pee during rush hour when we're our busiest and then they come back like 15 minutes later and lunch rush is over. But okay. That type of energy. Um, but just being so chill yourself is going to help. Spirit says, like the moon, you know, and those emotions that were ruled by setting those boundaries is a balancing act in November. Because if we're too weak, we get lost in the needs of others. We start doing all of their work. But if we're too strong uh, with those people, we risk isolating ourselves and, you know, limiting those positive influences. So... Started, you know, if we're following the ways of those people around us, 
if we start following those evil ways and doing that kind of, if you start doing bad stuff that they're doing too, before long, everybody's just going to be all bad. And then what's going to happen is somebody's going to get punished for their sin, for their crime in November. So be ready for that. And, you know, maybe somebody else is going to walk in and say, I didn't do it. I was in the bathroom. I got a motive. No, you don't. Or I mean, a, what do you call that? An alibi. <laughs> but with the high priestess, we get that finding your sacred place. Advice from spirit as places for the divine to dwell on earth. Praying for those bad people can help. and Because it all requires a spiritual cleansing and fortification. So we need to get the bad out and get these bad apples out and then we can for we can strengthen. So biding our time and praying for those, you know, praying for a good team to uh, maybe again just if you if this already has resonated so much and doesn't seem very futuristic for many of you Taurus or anybody with significant Taurus placement, um yeah makes good sense, right? And so Spirit's like, we'll just keep praying because pray for that city, that country, that group, that it's it's a very public situation. Not very close to home. I mean, it's, if it's just your job, it's your bread and butter. Don't get me wrong there. I do see that as well. But somebody here definitely praying for the crew to, you know, and the team. And if it is in your personal life, you know, maybe you, you got roommates and stuff and we got a bad apple there, and we're just trying to not follow those bad ways. Spirit says, would not, you know, just keep on keeping on because we got to cleanse, though. So there's a need that, that somebody is consciously aware of. You know, we got to get rid of these bad apples, these bad people. But we were the. Uh, the beginning, I was more again. It's it's about sparing the righteous. So with that negative energy coming in in seventh house, it's going to be about relating, you know, astrologically, um, in partnerships, companionship, best friends, relationships. How we do relate to other people in opposition in times of opposition can come in. So be prepared for that, guys, and, um, you know, be, be very graceful. Shouldn't be hard to do because we have that energy in November for Taurus as well. Taurus sun, Taurus rising for sure. Um, being very obliging energy coming in. I do see that people-pleasing energy. Yeah, yeah. Which, again, could be somebody else being a people-pleaser. That is a bad apple, so... <laughs> I don't think we're going to be surprised about that. We just came out of our last month in October was about that work detail. I see that off the top, you know, right? But it's that well-being in it. So good luck in your situation, guys. Yeah. You might want to hit that like button before I forget. Thank you. Oh, and hit the subscription button if you want to become a member. Right on. Glad to have you. Okay, yeah, good luck, guys. Let me know how it's going. Until next time, shalom.